woke up, we broke camp. It was already hot, the bugs were out, and we started heading toward Isla Morada. But before we could begin our next adventure, we had to get breakfast at Robbie's. Okay, we are at Robbie's and we're gonna take a look at the breakfast menu. We are apparently the first ones here because there is nothing going on. But they were right there to welcome us. And then afterwards, we're gonna go over to that area. And Daddy's gonna feed some tarpon. But it's a beautiful morning. There's a bridge right there came in. You hungry, buddy? Yeah, I'm excited for breakfast. Yeah, what are you craving? I don't know. I think maybe like a pancake or something. Pancake? I remember yesterday you told me waffles. They don't have waffles. They don't have waffles? No. Well, I bet you they have good pancakes though. Yeah, probably. Yummy. Let's eat. So I got the hash browns and sausage and French toast. Yeah. Glazed donut. donut French toast. That's it. And then uh, over here, Taylor had. <laughs> I wanted, so it said three pancakes. I'm expecting three pancakes. No, there is three whole huge pancakes. And then I upgraded, I got the bananas foster. So, snap. I got the kids pancake and bacon. That's a Big pancake. <laughs> well, breakfast was massive. Yeah. Speaking of massive, I think it's time to feed the tarpon. Tarpon. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Y'all want to feed him? No. No, we're going to watch. <laughs> Just him. He's the brave one. Here at the Chum Bucket. <laughs> we got our fishes here. We're gonna come out here, you can see them boiling already. We got the pelicans, they smell me coming. And we're gonna feed some carpet. <laughs> there it was. 
After feeding the tarpon, we boarded our catamaran for the next couple hours of some amazing snorkeling. Once again, we got really lucky and there was only seven other people with us on this trip. We jumped off the boat and our next stop, we went into a school of jellyfish. We made our way over to the Alligator Reef Lighthouse, which was established in 1873. Once we reached the lighthouse, we found where all the wildlife was hanging out.
Well, we just got back from Robbie's and snorkeling. My face feels like a suction cup. <laughs> so we are on to campsite number two, Curry, Curry Hammock. Yeah. And I don't know, I've dealt with heat before, but let me tell you, the Keys heat, is, it is something different. So it's only 93, but it feels like 703. Right. So we are going to go and probably going to get some 100% authentic fast food because I don't feel like cooking. Quick and cheap is what we want. Just Quick like and cheap. my love life. So. <laughs> cheap? Wait I'm, a minute. I'm the cheap one. <laughs> mm. All right. I just narrowly avoided getting a black eye. <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, the excursion was fantastic. It was good. We saw some sharks. We some saw nursery sharks. sharks. Sea turtles? Yeah, we saw four, I think. Two two from the boat and then two under the water. Yeah. And, and the same ones just from Tons and tons and tons of fish. And I saw a little eel. Hopefully that came out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. I almost forgot, so now Taylor's driving. <laughs> All I can do is laugh, right? I mean, there's always something. And this trip has been going fairly smooth, <laughs> except for, you know, I need one of those shirts that said, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hot. But, <laughs> <laughs> so I, <laughs> I just got to the campground and we're like, let's just do this trailer, get it done, unpacked. Well, when I went to the 7-Eleven or the Circle K to get ice, then we went to the Taco Bell. I don't know where the trailer keys are. And guess what's in the trailer? Everything! <laughs> so, Everything luckily, our clothes. <laughs> luckily, I had a spare key for the trailer to unhitch it in my console. Why I don't have the spare lock? I thought it was a good idea to have my little own little spare keychain that had just the trailer stuff on it. Thought it was a great idea so I could keep the truck running, get into the trailer when I needed to. I'm not doing that again. Just not. So we're gonna unhitch the trailer, but just not open it. It's over there. So went to the ranger station and they said they're gonna have to call a volunteer. They go, yeah, we might we have, have something to, to do. Cut if that not, off. We have a home depot. If not, we're going to Home Depot in the Florida Keys. At least it's not that far away. Lives and adventure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, at least we're stuffed. We're hanging out in the AC of the truck. Yeah. Park yeah. looks pretty cool, though. I mean, we'll get to explore yeah, that. We'll we're we're on a little island, but we oh, will gosh. show you that here in a minute. So, if if we ever get unpacked and get <laughs> to stay. So. Yeah. Bye. All right, we're in business. The guy couldn't uh, break it, so I. Use my abs of steel to break the steel. But we're in. I owe that guy. Oh, my toe. <laughs> I, owe, I owe that guy one quadrillion bedillion dollars. So now we can unlock our, our stuff. We can get in. And I come in here. I'm like, what the heck, Chris? What the heck? <laughs> ADD. I forgot where I put them. So. Yep. It's, it's hot. Let's just say. There they are. It's like almost five o'clock. My rash guard feels like it's just soaking wet. It's the best so we uh, we gonna get some ice cream. We're gonna cool down a little bit because it's it's a bit ridiculous. Um. <laughs> Not good with keys. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so check this out. Where we're camping now. Not only do we have no seams and iguanas, we also have crabs. We've got crabs, folks. <laughs> 